Well, hello. This is your devotional for August 24th. This is our final devotional in the book of James. Uh, Thomas is here with me. We've been filming these for, I want to say, over a year probably uh, on, on James. It's been a lot of devotionals on James, but we're going to look at the last two verses. And here's what I want you to notice and think about as I read these. It's kind of, it seems like a strange ending. After we've gone through James and the power of tongue and power of the tongue and the work of prayer and all, you know, humility and all these different amazing topics. It ends with these two verses. And when I first read it and was thinking, I thought, that's kind of strange. And then it hit me, it's a perfect fit. It really reveals the heart of God. Listen to these words that conclude the book of James. My brothers and sisters, so a general invitation to everybody, right? My brothers and sisters, if one of you should wander from the truth and someone should bring that person back, remember this, whoever turns a sinner from their error of their way will save them from death and cover a multitude of sins. Boom. Drops off. It ends. You don't get the farewell, have a great day, uh, tell, tell so and so and so and so hello, which happened a lot of times in the Apostle Paul's uh, communications. It, it just finishes, brothers and sisters, if you should wander from the truth and someone should bring a person back, remember this, whoever turns a sinner from the error of their way will save them from death and cover a multitude of sins. Period. Dot. The end. A couple of thoughts. It's making the declaration that you and I can wander. Sin can come into our lives. We need to be aware of that. It's making a clear declaration that when, when some people wander from the faith, other believers can actually seek them out and go to them and invite them back, help them come back into the fold, back into the arms of Jesus. Jesus has not left them, but they may be wandering away from the fellowship of the church from walking closely with Jesus. Maybe that's you now. And maybe the prayer is God send people to come alongside of me and to invite me back in to the community of God's people and the fellowship of the church and, and obedience to Jesus. We should be praying, Lord, send someone my way to help me along. If you know someone who's wandering where sin has come in and they've turned their heart from Jesus, they, they may still believe and, and, and say, I believe, but I just am struggling here. Would you go to them and love them enough to help them back? Because that's the picture. And this can save them from death, the consequences. Of, of our rebellion, of our sin. It covers a multitude of sins. We, that we can actually minister to each other in such a way that we can bring people back into the intimate connection with Jesus that they've had in the past, that their heart longs for, that they truly need. So if you're wandering, may God send people alongside of you and may you invite them in to invite you back. If you know people who are wandering, that sin has come in and they're wandering from a real an intimate walk with Jesus, would you have the courage to come alongside of them to encourage them, to invite them back, invite them back to church, invite them to dig back into God's word, invite them to go deeper in prayer, invite them to walk with Jesus again. I love that close to the book of James. We wander sometimes, but we belong to each other. Let's help each other keep walking with Jesus and we wander to come back home again. Jesus, this is our prayer. When we wander, will you have people love us enough to come to us and help us along, to come back into an intimate connection with you. And Jesus, when we see others kind of falling off the path, moving away from you, may we love them enough. May we have the courage to invite them back, to encourage them, to understand your grace and to turn their hearts and their lives back to you. Thank you, Lord, for this journey through the book of James. Let these lessons we've learned over these past months speak to our hearts and transform our lives, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we'll see you next week. Uh, we'll be starting something new. It'll be a surprise. So next week, we're starting something fresh and new. Uh, we hope you can join us for worship online or on campus at 9 and 11 this Sunday morning. If you're part of another church, blessings as you're part of your congregation. Have a great day.